In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sub on a glass frosted tumbler. These frosted tumblers are from Koala. I'll have them linked down below. They come with a nice glass straw, which I love because most of these come with like a metal straw. I don't know. There's something about the glass straw that just makes it really nice. You can use the code Leslie. I'll have all the information linked down below for 12% off Koala and ASUB's website. So make sure to use it and save some money. I really like these, but I'll show you how to sub on them. And if you want to see how to do it, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about supplementation and sewing. So if either of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's jump into this video. Search 16 ounce tumbler in creativefabrica.com and there will be a bunch of cute tumblers. They have Halloween ones, floral ones, anything you can think of, they got. I ended up just designing my own because I wanted this to be a gift for a client. So I created a new document. I sized a rectangle to 9.9 .9 by 5.25, which is the size of my tumbler. And then I used guides to find the middle of each side and imported the logo and sized it down how I wanted it, making sure that the center was lined up with the center of the frosted tumbler, of that side of the frosted tumbler. I copied and pasted that to the other side so that there could be a design on both sides and then made the rectangle white and I printed, exported it as a JPEG and printed it on my sublimation printer. We're going to start off by taking our tumbler blank and we're going to put in our mug press to check for pressure. This is glass, so you don't want to be putting too much pressure or you're going to crack it. Okay, so you want to make sure that you cannot move your tumbler in there, but it's not too tight where you're going to crack the mess out of the glass. And I'm going to set my heat press to 375 for 120 seconds. We're going to prep our frosted tumbler. You want to put your straw away in the box and you want to also put your lid away in the box. For now, we're going to take it out of this plastic and you can either take some rubbing alcohol to clean it or some people use lint rollers. Whatever method you prefer of cleaning it, you just wanna make sure it's dry before you put your design on. Once you have clean it, you wanna take your design and you want to wrap it around. And then you wanna take your heat tape. You wanna to avoid touching where you're going to sub on with your fingers as much as possible. You wanna take some heat tape and then you want to just tape that seam down. If you want, you can also tape the top and the bottom. If you're gonna do this in the convention oven, then I would say tape middle seam, top seam, bottom seam, just like that. Then you're gonna get your butcher paper and you're going to wrap that around your tumbler. I personally kinda like to tape my butcher paper. If you're doing this in a convention oven, you can put some of the shrink wrap on it. I'm just going to tape this just so that it makes it easier to put in my mug press. So now this is ready to go to our tumbler press. I have a mug press that has an attachment for a tumbler. Now we're ready to put our tumbler inside of our heat press. We're going to slide it in and we're going to press for 120 seconds. We're going to carefully open it. We're going to get our heat gloves and we're going to rotate our tumbler. And we're going to press for another 120 seconds. So then we're going to take it out and we're going to let it sit and cool because this could be really hot. This is glass. So now we're going to take off our butter paper. Mine is still a little warm, so I'm just going to get a heat glove. These definitely take longer to cool down than like 
the metal tumblers, but that's okay. And get our butcher paper off and then we're gonna start ripping off this tape from the seam. And then we're just gonna rip off And look how perfect that is, like, perfect. No ghosting, no nothing. Just so cute. Let me put some white paper inside so that you can see, you can see the design a little bit better. All you gotta do is take your cap that I came with and stick that on. You have your little straw and it comes in a nice box too like it has some foam in there so it's gonna be nicely protected and this will make a great gift so cute i love how these turned out if you've seen my previous frosted tumbler videos they were a disaster and i had gotten those from amazon i really like these i feel like they feel like much better quality than the other ones i tried on amazon and the colors look great. I have a piece of white paper in there so you can see it. The colors look great. I love that it comes with the glass straw because not a, I haven't had any that come with the glass straw and I really like that. But they're so nice. These would be great to sell. They will be great for like craft markets or even to give as a gift. I really like these. And these are 16 ounces. I don't know if I said that before. These are 16 ounces. I'll have them linked down below. Don't forget to use the code Leslie for 12% off ASAP and Koala's website. Save yourself some money. And thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure to comment down below any questions you have or anything you want to see from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.